Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Hey, in this video, we'll discuss how we can install Eclipse IDE for Java development on Windows 11. So with that being said, let's get started. So before installing Eclipse IDE on our system, we have to install and set up Java JDK. For that, simply open any browser and search for Java JDK and open the link from oracle.com. Don't worry about the downlink. I'll provide the downlink in the description box. Here is the official website from where you can download Java. Here click on Java Downloads, scroll down and simply select the version of JDK you want to install. Java JDK 22 is the latest version. Simply select it, then select your operating system and now simply download the x64 bit installer file. So here you can see it is downloading. Let me complete the download process. Once the download has been completed, simply open the installer file. Here we have the Java setup window. Here click on next. Now if you want to change your Java installation location, then you can simply change it by clicking on this change button and browse the location. But for now, I'm just going to keep it default, then click on next. And here you can see it is installing Java JDK on our system. Wait for the installation process to complete. Once you have successfully installed Java SE development kit, simply click on close. Now you have to set up Java environment on your system. For that, simply open File Explorer application, navigate to the Java installation folder. Here simply select JDK22. Now open this bin folder and copy this bin folder location. Then here on the search option, search for environment variable. Here you'll find edit the system environment variable, simply open it, then click on environment variable option. Here you'll find two variable, one is user variable and system variable. Simply under system variable, look for path variable, then click on edit, then click on new and simply paste the java bean folder path. Then click on ok, now click on ok, then click on ok to close the window. Now to confirm the setup, simply on the search option, search for CMD and open comment prompt. Now here you have to run some command. First one is java space hyphen hyphen version. Then press the enter key and here you will find your java version information. Now you have to check java compiler. For that simply type java c. Java c is a compiler that compiles your java code. Simply run this code. And if you get bunch of statement, that means Java has been successfully set up on a system. And here simply type exit to close the comment prompt. Now you have to download the Eclipse IDE. For that, open any browser, search for Eclipse IDE and open the link from eclipseide.org. Don't worry about the download link, I'll provide the download link in the description box. So here we have the download option, simply click on download. Then simply download the Windows version of Eclipse IDE. Here you can see it is downloading, so wait for the download process to complete. Once the download has been completed, simply open the installer file. Here we have the Eclipse installer. Before downloading Eclipse IDE for Java developers, you have to update the installer. For that, simply click on this menu icon and here you will find update. Simply click on update, accept the license agreement. After that, it will restart the Eclipse installer. Now simply select Eclipse ID for Java developers and it will automatically detect all the information like product version, Java installation folder and installation folder of Eclipse ID. If you want to change the installation folder of Eclipse ID, then you can simply click on this folder icon and select the location. But for now, I'm just going to keep it default and I will suggest you to keep it default. Then click on install button. Now accept the Eclipse foundation software user agreement by clicking on accept now button and wait for the installation process to complete. Once done, simply click on launch button and here select a directory as a workspace and click on launch. So here we have the welcome screen of Eclipse ID. Welcome to the Eclipse ID for Java developers. Simply close this window. Let me show you how you can create your first Java project. For that, simply click on create a Java project or else you can also create a project by clicking on file, then click on new and here simply select Java project. 
Now give a name to your project, say for example demo, then click on next. So this is your project hierarchy, all the source file will be saved on this source folder. Simply click on finish. So here we have our Java project, simply expand this project and here you will find src folder. Simply right click on it, then click on new and simply create a Java package. Name your package as test, then click on finish. Now inside this package, you can simply create a Java class. Say for example demo, simply select the modify as public and here select the method public static void main string argument, then click on finish and it will create your first Java class file. Now let us check whether Eclipse IDE is working or not. For that, I'll simply print one statement system.out.println and here let me pass hello world. Now simply click on file, then click on save all. Now click on this run option and click on run. And here on the console, you'll find hello world. So that means Eclipse IDE has been successfully set up for Java development. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.